Hi, and welcome to Wagner Road Middle School. I'm Mr. Bone, and I teach design and technology classes here at Worms. I'm going to help you get to know your new learning tool, your Chromebook. A Chromebook is a new type of computer that saves your work, projects, and everything else online. When you log in, it remembers your preferences and allows you to continue working where you left off. You can use the Chromebook to search the internet, engage in personalized learning programs, watch instructional videos, create projects and presentations, and collaborate with other students and teachers. As you continue your journey at Worms, you will use your Chromebook in more creative and cutting-edge ways. Your Chromebook will be an essential tool that you will use throughout your time at Worms, so understanding how to use it effectively and how to complete assignments with it are both very important. To turn on your Chromebook, use both hands to carefully open the device. After opening, you should see the Chrome logo and then you will see a login screen. If your Chromebook does not turn on after opening, press the power button, the top right button on the keyboard, to turn it on. Once you've powered up your device, you'll need to sign in. If this is your first time using the device, you may need to add yourself as a user. To do this, click on Add User in the bottom left corner of the screen. Notice how the first box asks for your email address. Your email address is your username followed by the at symbol, shift plus two, and ren.org. Your teacher should have given you your username and password. For example, sally.sparrow at ren.org. Notice how there are no spaces in the email address. Anytime you type in your username or email address, you should not use any spaces. After typing in your email address, type in your password. It is very important that you remember both your email and your password, as you will need it to log into your Chromebook each time. Don't worry though, after a few days, you'll have it down. You may have already noticed that the keyboard of the Chromebook is somewhat different than other computers you have used. For example, the caps lock key is missing and has been replaced by the search key, which is represented by a magnifying glass. Pressing this key brings up your apps and lets you search for specific apps to use. At the top of the keyboard are more buttons that are unique to Chromebooks. The most important keys are the six to the right. The first two keys adjust your screen's brightness. Keeping your screen's brightness lower will help make your battery last longer, but make sure it is bright enough that you can read without straining your eyes. The next three keys adjust the volume of the Chromebook. The first button mutes the sound, or turns it down to zero. The next two keys let you decrease or increase the volume to a level that is comfortable and appropriate. If you are in class and part of a discussion or the teacher is speaking, it is a good idea to turn your volume all the way down to be respectful. The button in the top right corner of your keyboard is the power button. If you press and hold this button, it will turn the Chromebook off. You will only want to turn the Chromebook off when you are finished using it for a long period of time. Like if class is over and you are going to lunch, or you are finished using it at the end of the day before you leave school. If you plan on using the Chromebook again in the same period, or will use it on and off for a certain amount of time, you can just close the lid of the Chromebook when you're not using it. This will preserve the battery of your Chromebook, and when you open the lid, you can continue where you left off. If during a class, a teacher ever says, give me five, or AFK, immediately close your Chromebook, take out earbuds if you have them in, and give your full attention to the teacher. This is your teacher's way of getting your attention whenever he or she needs it. Each student must have a backpack with a compartment to store their Chromebooks in 
when carrying them between classes and between home and school. Some backpacks include a separate sleeve to protect the device, but if yours does not, you will need to also have a protective sleeve to help protect your Chromebook from damage. Although it is not required, you may also buy a hard snap-on cover in addition to the required sleeve. This type of case protects your Chromebook from scratches and also allows you to personalize your device. When you are finished using your Chromebook during a class period, you need to make sure to turn it off and put it in the soft sleeve that protects it. Then make sure you put it into your backpack and it is secure when moving between classes or when going home for the day. Learning at Worms is dependent upon students having their devices with them and fully charged each day. The night before each school day, plug the charging cable that came with your Chromebook into the small round hole in the back of your device and leave it plugged in for at least two hours. In the morning, double check to make sure that your Chromebook is fully charged. You can check the battery level of your Chromebook at any time by looking in the bottom right corner of the screen and looking at the battery icon. Students that do not come prepared for the day will not have the same education experience as others who are prepared. Therefore, there will be consequences in place for students that forget their device or do not have it charged for the day. We realize that mistakes happen, so every student will get one warning each nine weeks for a forgotten or uncharged device. After this warning, consequences will be as follows. You will be assigned a lunch detention for the next three times you either forget or do not charge your Chromebook. After the fourth time, the student will lose the privilege of bringing home their device for two weeks. If being unprepared for class continues, the school has the right to revoke the student's right to bring the device home. What's the moral of the story? Bring your Chromebook to class every day fully charged and ready to use. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about your Chromebook and the expectations for using it as a learning tool this year at Worms. Have a great start of the school year and I look forward to seeing you in class soon.